All right, welcome. I know the title of this video is gonna look like clickbait, the best exercise, one movement everyone needs to try. However I end up wording the title, I really am gonna show you two full body movements that I think are super important. The first movement is gonna be the benchmark movement. This is setting the standards. This is what I think everyone should be able to complete. Doesn't matter your age, fitness level, training experience, just an all around important movement. The second movement, however, is like a challenge. Just a, a really good test to see how well your full body strength, mobility, coordination, and balance all work together. All right, before we get started, I just wanna say two quick things. The first thing is, the whole time you're doing the movement, it doesn't count whether it's the easy or the advanced if you can't do it slow and controlled. So if you can't do it smoothly, if you're being jerky at all, or if you have any pain, obviously that's a fail as well. But again, yeah, if you can't control or literally be able to stop yourself the whole time you're doing the movement at any point, then again, it's a fail. If you do fail, this is the second thing I wanna say, don't worry, um, I'm an online personal trainer. If you have problems or struggled at all with level one or level 10, reach out, I can either give you some exercises or some fun full body programs. All right, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start out with a hinge, okay? A hinge is not me just bending over. So I don't just bend over from the back. I'm soft knees, I push the hips back, and I hinge forward. Super important, functional, longevity, performance, staple movement is the hinge. The hips go back, the chest comes forward, then you lose your back, round the back, walk your hands forward, keep a tight core, choose a leg, either leg, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna lift up my left leg, I kick it through underneath, I turn, I lift up my right hand, I drop my hips down, glutes to the ground, I do a full crunch, a full sit up, then I do that all in reverse, I'm just gonna Turn the left again, twist around, kick my leg back under, and then walk my hands back up slowly. So that's level one, that's the easy version. Rewatch this if you need the instructions and the walkthrough, um, or reach out and I can break it down. But this is that benchmark, that the movement I think everyone should be able to do. The second movement, this is the advanced movement, is the same as the first, but now, your left hand and your right leg are not, you're not allowed to use them at all. So put them behind your back, don't use them. And it really amps up the challenge of balance and coordination and, and knowing and manipulating your body through space. So left hand, right leg gone, now try. So you're gonna hinge, push the hips back, single leg balance, good. Lose the back, walk it forward. Tight core, kick that leg through, but it's missing, so you can't use it, not even from the hip down can you use it. Drop the glutes, crunch up, walk the hands back, stand back up. So that's the advanced version. All right, thanks for watching and testing your abilities. And again, if you're looking for an online personal trainer, just $11 a month, reach out with any fitness questions or programming questions you have. Thanks again.